Hi, my name is Julia. I'm one of the co-artistic directors of Manual Cinema, and I'm also a puppeteer in Christmas Carol. And I wanted to show you around our puppetry setup. Um, upstage, we have these overhead projectors um, that you might remember from your classroom if you're of a certain age. Um, and we use them for shadow puppetry, where we use them to show different things that happen in the character's past, so like Scrooge um, when he was a young boy, um, and some other sections. Um, what we do is um, we have three of them to operate as kind of like a each is like a different camera so we can have a different shot um, and we can do different things like we can double expose, we can crossfade, um, and those are some of the ways we use the cinematic vocabulary on the overhead projectors. Um, we also do different types of shots like close up or far shots where you can see And then we also have pans that we do as well. So we're trying to sort of emulate different camera movements on the overhead projector. And these puppets are pretty simple. Um, they're made out of paper and acetate, which is um, like a transparency that we print the design on. Um, the materials we use to make the puppets are really simple. They're made out of um, paper and then the background is acetate that's designed on the computer and that's how we get the transparent colors on the screen um, for this pan as an example. Um, we also do a lot of little tiny mechanisms so in order to get the puppets to animate they have tiny little joints um, that are tiny pieces of wire. If you come over here on the projector you can see um, they're tiny little joints made out of little pieces of wire. And then the tabs are also made out of acetate, and that's so we can manipulate them without you seeing our hands. So it's really subtle, tiny, tiny movements that are blown up pretty big onto this screen, which is like a tiny shadow puppet screen, which is then also fed to a very large projection screen.